All right, what's going on guys? So as some of you may know, one of my 23 subscribers may have watched it. The Ute is dead, blowing up gearbox, blowing third. Ratchet. So it's been blowing for a couple of weeks now. Um, gearbox is for uh, fucking expensive. So what I've got here is a Mazda Bongo van column shift manual gearbox and a B2000 gearbox. My Ute's a diesel, this is a carburetor petrol Mazda gearbox. And that's a carburetor petrol Mazda gearbox too. So I imagine the bell housings are different. Although between those two, they should be the same, but not good. They won't fit my Ute. Um, this one's actually shorter by about an inch or two. So I'm guessing the main shaft right through the whole gearbox is the same, is, is shorter. Um, this gearbox is the right length. So the main shaft in this gearbox should be the right length for my Ute. Um, so this gearbox I should be able to salvage like third gear, fifth gear because my clutch fits on the spline so it's the same diameter main shaft all the way through so I should have a spare third, fifth because I've blown four third gears and a couple of fifths so I should be able to salvage this for gears and this one was sold to me as a unworking gearbox however when I turn this it seems to sound quite nice so I'm going to pull the bell housing off and the tail shaft off and hopefully it looks all good in there. If so, I'll just slap my bell housing on there with a bit of luck, throw it in and we'll be away. But if not, because I did buy this as a blown up gear box, then hopefully I'll pull this apart, find it's got a blown fifth in it or a third or something. And then I'll pull this one apart and get the third or the fifth out of that, put it into this, put a bell housing off one of my old gear boxes out of the ute onto this and then put this in the ute. Confused yet? Because fuck I am. Alright, well we've got the B2000 gearbox in here, as you see over there on the far left, that's an old diesel WL gearbox that I've blown third in in the past. Um, I've just measured them up, they're exactly the same length, the bell housing is definitely different, but let's crack this carbureted petrol gearbox open. And Alright, there it is. Full strip down, Mazda gearbox. Well, bongo van. Some dust and stuff in there, but... Looks pretty sweet. So, the next thing we've got to do now is... Strip everything. Which, I'm not too familiar with, but... Back away with that one. Alright, there it is. Ford Courier main shaft, Ford Courier bell housing, Ford Courier tail shaft, Mazda Bongo van centre, Mazda Bongo van gears on the main shaft out of the Courier. We're just going to put this front bit on. And then the next thing to do is pull the Courier around and start pulling the gearbox. Well, to sum up, um, all tunnel type gearboxes are virtually the same. So RX-7, Mazda Miata, MX-5, Bongo van, all very much interchangeable. As long as you change the bell housing, 
Um, next, we're going to pull that over, change the gearbox, see if it works. Um, if you found this video of any use, give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and catch you on the gearbox change.